This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported all the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store. Check out the link in the description. Now let's create this logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo reveal. Set time duration for this composition to 6 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline, scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo, select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. In effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the logo composition. Here you need to set white color to gray. Now in effects and preset, search for find edges, add it to the logo composition. For find edges, set blend with original to 80%. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the logo composition, set blur radius to 1. Set iteration to 1. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo map. Now hide this logo composition. Now add the reflection media file to the timeline. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For reflection, change track mat to alpha mat logo. For reflection, in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace. Add it to reflection, now in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Now add it to the logo composition. For glass, in surface, change map to logo map. Set softness to, 0. Set height to, 30. Set displacement to 300. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC Blob Eyes. Add it to the reflection. Change Blob Layer to Logo Map. Now set softness to 10. Cut away to 0. Now in shading, set ambient to 9. Diffuse to 10. And roughness to 0.5. Now select all. Pre-compose it. Name it as glossy logo. Perfect. Now let's add the gradient media file to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as gradient. Let's hide this composition. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as Reveal. Now in Effects and Preset, search for CC Image Wipe, add it to the solid layer. Now at Start. Create keyframe for completion. Now at 3 seconds. Change Competition to 100%. Set Border Softness to 0.
Now in gradient, set layer to, gradient. Here you can see the logo reveal. Now select gradient and reveal, pre-compose them. Name it as image, wipe. Now place it below, let's hide it. Now let's add the smoke media file to the timeline. Pre-compose it. Name it as smoke. Place it below Glossy Logo Composition. For Glossy Logo, in Effects and Preset, search for Set Matte. Add it to the logo. For Set Matte, set Take Layer to Image Wipe. Select Invert. Perfect. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Glow. Add it to the Logo Composition. For Glow, set Glow Radius to 30. Set Glow Intensity to 0.1. Now change Glow Operation to Screen. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this Glow effect. For Glow 2, set Glow Radius to 120. Now again create duplicate. For Glow 3, set Glow Radius to 300. Now for Glossy Logo, set Mode to Add. Perfect. Now let's add Glossy Logo Composition to the Timeline. For Logo, in Effects and Preset, search for Unsharp Mask. Add it to the Glossy Logo Composition, set amount to 40. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Set Matte. Add it to the Glossy Logo. For Set Matte, set Take Matte Layer to Image Wipe. Select Invert Matte. Perfect. Now create a new Adjustment Layer. For Adjustment Layer, in Effects and Preset, search for Camera Lens Blur, add it to the Adjustment Layer. Now add 5 seconds. Create Keyframe for Blur Radius. Set Blur Radius to 0. Now attend. Set Blur Radius to 15. Select Repeat Edge Pixels. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Curves, add it to the Adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now change Glossy Logo to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create Null Object. Change Null to 3D. Parent Camera to Null Object. Now Null, press P to bring up the position. At Start, create Keyframe for Position. Set Position to, minus 600. Now at End of the Timeline, set Position to, 600. You can see the preview. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as Glossy Logo Reveal. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as Color. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Fill. Add Fill to Solid Layer, now set Color as shown. For Solid Layer, set Mode to, Soft Light. Let's set Opacity to, 5%. Now let's create a new Adjustment Layer. In Effects and Preset, search for Curves. Add it to the Adjustment Layer, now adjust the curves as shown. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Noise. Add it to the Adjustment layer. Set Amount of Noise to 5%. Unselect Use Color Noise. Now again create a new Adjustment layer. 
Now select ellipse tool. Create mask as shown. For mask, set mode to subtract. Set mask feather to 550. Now set mask expansion to minus 70. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. You can see the effect of this mask. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as black. Press T to bring up opacity. Now at start, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 1 second, set opacity to 0. Now at 5 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at end, set opacity to 100. Now again create a solid layer. Name it as frame. Now create rectangle mask, select rectangle tool and double click to add mask. For mask path, set unit to percent of source, set top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our dark cinematic logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another tutorial.